Welcome back guys, doing it for my car today, but still gonna be providing you with extreme value. So today I wanna talk about some big mistakes that people make when looking for their health insurance, okay? There's a lot of them, but I'm just gonna go through the uh, common two or three. Number one is always trying to do it themselves, right? There are a lot of people that do know quite a bit about health insurance, and that's awesome because most of the, the public have no idea even what a deductible co-insurance out-of-pocket even means. But the reason I say uh, doing it on your own is because there are a lot of, number one, um, issues when you actually do your application that you actually have to get. You have to hit it pretty right on the head to make sure there's no issues down the road, meaning tax um, household members, right? Uh, income and even questions on the application that can determine whether you qualify for a subsidy or not and also you never know if what the plan that you're in is the best for your situation and so working with a broker myself or anybody that you work with it's very important that they can look at all of your options they can pull all of the all of the quotes all of the insurance companies and tell you what's going to be one your best rate and what's gonna give you the best coverage. So that's number one, people doing it on their own, and I've seen a lot of people screw that up. The other one is going with um, the cheapest option. Now, sometimes, in some cases, there are some great, great affordable options that don't cost a whole lot of money, but generally, going with the cheapest option doesn't mean the best insurance. Um, Keep in mind, insurance is all risk-based. So typically, the higher your premium, right, the more uh, or the less risk you'll take because you'll have pretty much a Cadillac plan. You'll have a um, bunch of different other supplemental plans to fill some of those holes. So those typically are going to be a little bit more expensive, giving you a little bit less risk. While generally, if you go lower premium you're going to add on risk and that's not necessarily a bad thing it just depends on your situation the other thing that i see a lot of people not mess up but end up regretting later is just going online and filling out some quotes or some general information and then guess what happens you get a gazillion billion calls i had a client that got over 200 calls in two days from filling out her uh, information online so you got to be cautious that's why I make these videos guys is because I want to give you guys a good experience I don't want to you know have you guys get thousands and hundreds of calls um, because I've seen it and I've actually done it myself and it is absolutely insane how many calls you can get within five minutes of filling information out online so those are some big things um, you know, trying to do it yourself because a lot of people can screw it up, thinking that the cheapest insurance is the best, but maybe in your case it could be. Um, and going something more expensive may not be in your budget, so it may not make sense for you. And the other thing is filling out your information online that can cause a lot of headache and can cause people to say, you know what, screw it, I'm done with this, right? So hopefully you find this video and all of my other videos uh, on TikTok so that if you do have questions, you do need help, you can reach out to me uh, personally and you're gonna avoid all of those spam calls. So I hope this helps. There are a lot of others, guys, but those are the big ones that people kind of um, screw up on. And so if you want to avoid those, you want to avoid the headaches, you want to avoid all the shit that you're going to have to deal with down the road, then listen to these three things and do not make these mistakes. And if you need help, of course, reach out to me. I hope you have a guys, uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day.